okay, you well, believe well, you believe that when she goes there and this and that's going to help but what may happen what may happen is my partner may go and two three four months later she may come back and she may not be the same person anymore because of psychotropic medication and a lot right. of other things that happen what i'm trying to say is like Let's holistically. Let me talk to my family. Let's see what's going on before we do to this. Before we get to this point, before she's in the system and now she's forever caught up in a mental health system, and my child is connected. To this. There's a lot of things I'm thinking well, that's, about. That's what we are. You, you don't understand when these therapists go in and they got these agendas, man. They got these agendas. Nobody comes out these rooms without medication, man. All right, what can I do to help you? I'm just saying, why does it have to be this? Why did you come to my house on a Saturday morning? Why can't I be able to just console my partner and ask him what's going on before you guys take over of my my partner and the child and her body now? Because we were given a call by her. I understand, her but I'm saying, so is it the I best to answer? Respond. Is it the best answer? That's all I want to know. Is the best fit? This is Longwood. This is not Pine Hills. The middle class yeah, community. I, I totally agree. Not, and like, that's why are we doing this? Right, what, what was your name, sir? My name is Keston Jones. Okay, my name is Tom. I'm soon to be Doctor Keston Jones. Okay, all right. Very all right. I understand, but this is. I'm. I'm listen. Okay. There's certain protocols to how this is done. I work with families. I'm a director of the program. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. I know how this is done, and I'm saying that when this happens, it's another thing that happens that you guys, because of your realities, you don't have to face. Right. You go back on beat. But can I lay, tell you what happens to them? And what happens to families as a result of this? Can I, can I say what happens to that? And I'm trying to keep this out of my family. So, all right. So I have, I have, I have resources. Okay. I can get my a therapist for my partner. I can do I something. Hear you. So these, so these, myself, I, I would rather not go so and turn my sir, partner over to the system. Sir, real quick. Let, let him give Officer you. Officer Snyder's kind of explain the scenario, okay? As adults, doesn't matter if in uniform or on a Saturday here at the house, we all deal with problems, right? Unfortunately, your significant other has reached out to her therapist in regards to something that was bothering her. Is, is this something and that, that that's no, but so this, can, we, can we finish? I just want to know if this is something that you guys have commanded because I'm going to go to the house to get dressed because it's a lot of things I got to do and now my day has to trust change. Me, we wholeheartedly but I want to be with her. So what that's fine. That's all we're saying. So, can I finish right. so we get that you have issues as adults, right? We all do, regardless of in uniform or not. When you reach out to a therapist or somebody that actually is listening to her relaying this information we have no other obligation then to come here and try to make contact with you guys so that's what we're doing here we're, we're not in any trouble all right? i'm doing is just assessing mm -hmm. for any other option but this that's all this, i'm assessing this and, if, and if i can't if we can't you guys have said that this is what you got to do by protocol then i'm going to do that but as and a citizen but as a citizen i'm just believing sir. i pay all my taxes i'm just asking sir. if there could be another option that's, well, that's irrelevant to why we're here today so we understand your concern. We understand your obligation to take care of your family, right? Uh, Officer Snyder is here trying to give us a little outlet as to what we have to do here today. So, okay, so, so can no, no, they're not going in the house again. No. So can we explain? So we can either do it voluntarily or involuntarily. Obviously, you're wanting to work with the family. So if you want to take her up there, that's fine. We can follow you, get her checked in, make sure she's checked in, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It, it is no option. In it is no option. It's either the knife or the gun. This is not an option. That's, not that's what I'm trying to say. It's not an option. That's, this is law. That's where we're at. This is based law. off okay, our so investigation. I need to go in the house okay. and change because this, uh, yeah, I'm always going to feel this way. There's nothing you guys can say. It's not, it's not going to happen okay, in my head so, saying that these two options are wrong for right. me and my family. So and I'm going to go in the house. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's okay. what I, I, I understand. Do. All right. If you want to go get. No, right. I, mean, I, I, I just want to I wanna make sure. Good. Can I come in the house and talk to her? Can I go in the house no, and talk to her? My name is Keston Jones. Keston Jones. So here's the deal. Can I go in the house and talk to her before I get dressed? Here's what we'll do. I will give her courtesy, right? Down to the hospital, okay? You can meet us up there. And you can meet us up there, and we'll be up there waiting for you. Okay, so Okay, because my concern right now it. is her and the baby. Okay? All right. Are you ready to go with us? Um, okay. Where are you guys going? South Seminole Hospital. It's just right up the road there. I'll, I'll give you a drive. I'll stay here while they go. Okay. They want you. Huh? Do you want to leave the car keys here? Or you want to stay here? And just I can do that. So, Mr. Keston, so are, you, are we kind of on the same page? I'm just going to follow you guys. That's very respectable. I feel that when, when certain things happen as citizens, 